Okay, this is a 2015 Can-Am Spider F3. I uh, went to get on the bike this morning and I got uh, about a dozen bad key reads. And it doesn't seem to matter which key. I tried both keys. Uh, I got at least, I'm going to say, six or eight bad key reads on each one of the keys. So, digging into the system and being an automotive electrical engineer, I know how these systems work. You pull this cover off, very simple to remove this uh, basically plastic cover off. What you've got here is this device, this plastic device is actually an electronic ring. There's a coil of wire inside here and normally it sits all the way down like this on your ignition cylinder, your key cylinder. You put the key in and you turn it on and the ring energizes and magnetically activates a chip inside the key. The chip burps out a very long code that the engine controller is reading on this particular bike. Really just about any automotive vehicle functions the same way. Um, and once it gets a good key read, then it's uh, acceptable to start the vehicle. Well, you're not, I wasn't getting good key reads this morning, so I played with something. And I want to share this with everybody because it fixed the problem, okay? This ring right here, if you look at it, most of it's plastic. There's this tiny little ring area around the top here, and you can see there's just copper wire in there, a coil of copper wire. So what I thought about was this particular ring was not getting a strong enough signal from the key. So what I did was I pulled it up closer to the key like this. Um, after I did that, I got, I've, I've done it 20 times right now with both keys. 100% of the time, good key read, no problem. So I wanted to share that with everybody. Hopefully uh, this will work for you guys. And by the way, once, once you turn this on and you get a good key read, push the mode button, let it start. Once you turn this on and you get a good key read, uh, you can go back and reassemble everything, put it all back together, drive it, uh, normal like you normally would because it's just a one-time authentication. It's not constantly reading from the key as you're driving. So uh, hope that helps. Now there's one more thing I was playing with that uh, I'll let you guys know about for the tinfoil hat people out there. Made a little ring of uh, tinfoil with duct tape as you can see because you can fix everything with duct tape, right? And I wrapped it around the outside of this because my, my theory is that uh, the engineers that designed this really didn't put a lot of expense into this. And what's happening is this antenna is actually sending a signal out in all directions. Even though there's a ring inside here and it's really just the active part of it is on the inside, you're losing signal around the outside of this ring. So if you can focus more of that energy up toward the key using that tin foil, which is what it's gonna do because that's an RF shield, effectively, uh, you're going to get more energy uh, toward the key. And that energy is not only um, turning the key on and activating it, but it's reading it also. So um, you can play with that too. Keep some with you uh, just in the event that uh, something like this happens to you on the road. And the other thing I've noticed, guys, is today it's extremely humid. Uh, we're looking at over 90% humidity Yesterday, it wasn't like that. I rode the bike yesterday, no problem, good key reads all day long. Uh, but this problem has been cropping up periodically with higher humidity. Higher hum humidity means less uh, RF transmission, lower RF signal strength because of losses in the, uh, the atmosphere. So um, that's it. Hopefully, this helps you guys out.